What's up everyone? I wanted to share with you a quick look at Pasalapora. You may not be aware, but Pasalapora, despite being one of the less popular stony corals in the reef aquarium hobby, are second only to Acropora in reef building productivity in the wild. That's right, their skeletons make up a huge portion of the reef's structure in the ocean. Now if you've kept Pasalapora before, it should really come as no surprise, as they're one of the most adaptable SPS corals out there. They tolerate a wide range of both light and flow. We grow them under medium light and medium flow, but they do develop better coloration under stronger light sometimes. If you want to experiment with stronger light, be sure to acclimate the coral slowly to the light because it's possible to burn them if done too hastily. The other aspect that makes Pasalapora a highly effective reef building coral is its growth rate. It is one of the fastest growing stony corals and has a trick up its sleeve if things go downhill. Pasalapora can reproduce asexually by means of polyp bailout where each polyp can detach from its skeleton and drift to a new location and colonize there. While this technique is not unique to Pasalapora, this coral does it far more effectively than others. Usually polyp bailout is employed in response to something going wrong and as a last ditch effort. I've had other stony corals such as elegances and bubble corals bail out, but most of the time those corals don't survive. Pasalapora, on the other hand, can spread all over the tank and wind up recolonizing in unexpected areas. As for feeding, we don't go out of our way to directly feed Pasalapora. These corals are photosynthetic and get most of their nutrition from light. However, it's possible to feed them provided that the food is fine enough for their small polyps to consume. If you want to try feeding them, we suggest starting with the cloudy supernate that you get from thawing frozen food, or possibly one of the powdered zooplankton foods. Lastly, these corals tend to be very hardy, but if you happen to see some mysterious die-off occur, consider giving it a dip in a pest control solution. There are some crustaceans that eat Pasalapora, so it's important to keep a watchful eye on the base of the coral for any signs of a recession. The bugs look like big white fleas and will jump off quickly when dipped. Anyhow, that's it for this quick look at Pasalapora. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.